Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissu y salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chash, jack, shimash, good day y'all. So today, as you can see in front of you, it's Gilligan and Millie, Zag, he's asleep. Um, as you can see, they look a bit freshly shorn and that's what's happened, they have had a haircut today. First of March, not officially the first of spring, but uh, with a bit of a spring cut. So this is the mess that you can see from cutting, trimming, three Shih Tzus, including, including toenails as well. There'll be a lot of crunchy, crunchy going on. And we are gonna be using this. Now this is a machine I've not used in ages. So I was like, ah, oh, right, okay, let's get the TriStar out because this is one of my absolute favorite va canister vacuums. So this is the TriStar. CEC and it is metal with a kind of like hammered paint on it sprayed and it's a real beast of a machine it's American but I got it here in the UK and it is in such amazing condition when I got it and I had it for a, I had it for a bargain but the people wanted to get rid of it so I had it let's have a look underneath let me turn it over. So I call this my little pig because it, it kind of looks like a little pig. Uh, these are the wheels on it, beautifully made. I mean, it is really, really good quality machine. Um, and as you can see, there's not much damage on it, a bit of dirt or whatever, but it's in such good condition. And these are the, um, the wheels on it. So these are the back wheels. Whoa, it looks a bit upside down. So we have got here, this is the TriStar, or DXL, sorry, not CXL. 800 watt with a turbo watt brush of 180. There. Uh, for household use only, no lubrication required, ball bearing motor. And this is made in Inaham, California, USA. And there's something written there, but I think it's the other way around. So I'll have to turn you around. Hang on a sec. All right, it does say CSE, sorry, not DXL, so I, I don't know what that means anyway. CEC, Interstate Engineering, uh, Anaheim, California, USA, Patents, and all the other Raj Badar, all the details on it. So I really, really do like this machine. So here is the bin. Now it looks like the it's the wrong way around. It looks like it should be that should be the front, but this is actually the front, the big end of it. So we take off the hook, like so. Open it up, and that's the bag. It is a paper bag that fits inside a cloth bag. And that's it. Oh, what is this? Ah! Okay, these are... Ah, these are the old brushes for my, um, Vorwerk. Why I kept them in there, I do not know. But they're old, I don't need them, so I could chuck them. Good thing I checked that. Uh, inside is a teeny weeny kind of like little bit of corrosion on it, but nothing major. Everything in it is nice and clean. We'll pop this in there. Pop this in there. There's a little bit of dirt in there, as you can see. Pop the paper bag back in. And then that fits down on the top, sealing it. And then put that on, clip, and the dirt goes straight into there, straight into the bag. Down here, we have the exhaust filter. Uh, it says filter fresh, submicron filter system. As you can see there, it has got a, like a pleated filter. I wouldn't say this would be the best thing, but there's a pleated filter and then there's a sponge as well. And I've got an air freshener in there. But it works, so I'm really happy with that. Turning it on, you just push the button here. quite a lot of suction with that that is um yeah you can feel the airflow is blowing the bits of fur around so let me get the hose all connected up on it 
So the hose plugs into the back. You just find the um, nub in there for it to fit in. And then twist it, and then that locks it in. And then down here you have the power point, which you connect just underneath there. There we go. Interstate engineering, removal void warranty. Oh, there's the number of it, okay. So let's move on to the um, motorized brush head. If I turn you upside down, it's got a kind of big brush roll there. There's big wheels on it. It's in such good condition. Really, really awesome condition. Look at the brush roll on it. Amazing. Right, let me disconnect. So here you've got the handle there. That's where the electric goes in. And you've got your tools. I should give them another wash, actually. So we've got a wonderful... Hang on. So the first tool we have here is the upholstery brush with a wonderful kind of like glitter in the plastic. It's really thick plastic. It's really good plastic. Um, not a very, it doesn't look like a very good tool. There's no, I don't know, maybe it does have a, an attachment that may come with it that um, puts a um, brush on it or something, but very simple. We also have a stubby crevice tool that I need to wash. So I will do that before I put it back. And then we have this really, really nice dusting brush. Um, but this is, is rubberized. The others are hard plastic, but this is rubber with the um, gold glitter in it. That appears to be natural bristles. Very, very soft. It's very, very nice. So those are the tools that you have with it. Okay, so for the purposes of a quick demonstration, if you switch the machine on and pull the head back, that will turn on the brush roll. So let's do that. That's popped out, hang on. Plug it back in, I am plugged it tonight. Let me plug it back in. Okay, take two. I know, I thought this had an, uh, an off switch when you put it upright, but it, it doesn't, it just comes on. But you do have uh, powers there for low pile, uh, normal, um, or shag but we'll um, put it on low pile, but I'm not gonna use the head. So let me disconnect it. Okay, so I've disconnected the head, so we just have this tool. And let's see how it goes with vacuuming up this mess. Let's have a quick go.
so the pitch of the motor changed, which indicates that it's full. So if I remove it, oh, you can see, like it's stuffed in there. Okay, you ready? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Oh my God, that is, that is really compact. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, it's all kind of like brushed in the right direction as it was sucked in. Let's take this out. <laughs> Let's take this bag out. <laughs> Look at that. All that was compacted in, plus all the bits that fell out of the floor. Right, let me get rid of this in the bin right next to me. Bin's all Right. There is a lot of fur block in the pores of this, so I would recommend changing it, but it's only fur. Let's close it up again. Let's put the end of the hose back into him. Okay, let's give it a switch on. because I'm going to reconnect and we can see what it's like on the um, on the mat okay I've got Mr. Piggy set up let's give it a go Okay, let's just open this up because I think the belt might need replacing. So let's have a quick look. Two screws here to open this up. Let me unplug it. There we go. Okay, this is the belt that you can see there. It does seem to be kind of loose. Let me take the brush roll out. Actually, that's all I need is the belt. Right, let me go get a new belt, bear with me. Okay, let's put a belt on it.
Okay, so I put a Kirby belt on it, which is really good. That fits perfect. Um, I had to go back and look at the footage because I couldn't work out where on earth this went, but it goes on the um, on the motor, just around that. Make sure that's on properly. Okay, there we go, that's good. Right, let's get it set up again. Okay, let's go. That made absolute mincemeat of the um, fur that was stuck to the floor. It just, it's just gone. One pass forward, one pass back, dirty line in the middle, back over and it's done. I can't def deny that it did a really good job and the new belt on it now makes such a difference. The only thing I did find with it is that it's a bit slippy slidey because it's all it's using is are these so I don't think these are really suitable for hard floors because there's no kind of like wheels on the front of it to kind of guide it along. So it was a bit slippy slidey. These back wheels, which are also kind of like a hard plastic, but slightly rubberized, um, they were a bit slippy slidey as well. But on carpet, can't go wrong, I'm definitely gonna be doing a house demo with this next. Uh, which I will do next weekend now that it's got a nice new belt on it. Um, it's a beast of a thing to manhandle because it's a real chunky hose and it's kind of, um, it's just chunky. Do you know what I mean? I think this, if this was a little bit longer, I think it would be, would be better. The swivel action on it, there is, it does swivel. If I can just show you. So there is a swivel but it doesn't guide it anywhere. So it's sort of like with modern machines, when you, when you, when you swivel the handle, the machine will start to go in that direction and the other direction it doesn't, it's, it's stuck. Um, I don't know if the newer machines, I'm sure they still make these machines, I'm positive they do, if they have a better kind of um, guiding system on it. But still, for the fun factor and the novelty of having one of these in the UK that uh, wasn't kind of imported and having to use a step down motor or anything but just sort of like being able to use it it's really good it's a lot of fun it's a really really nice the trigger on it is 
quite nice to hold with the finger grip and okay despite the fact that you can't swivel it around it's still really good and i'm definitely going to be using this in the next um, house demo which i will film next weekend for you guys so there we go thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this quick video today and uh, yeah we will see this again in very shortly in a full house demo so thanks for watching bye y'all